Welcome everyone to our today's lunch talk together with Sina Merino in the group Cross Connect Your Interests to Grow. Um, Sina is a author of multiple books and her recent book she brought out, what was special was that she produced everything around this book on herself and I think this is a huge work that an author can do in addition to writing a book and doing and organizing everything else and I believe that the insights and experiences of Sina might be very valuable for a lot of group members in, uh, in, in our group and uh, because I can imagine that there are some people who have considered um, about you know writing their their own books or even maybe publishing uh, um, a book and I think today um, it is interesting to hear from you Zina uh, how you did everything or how you do everything and um, what your challenges are and I'm very excited also to learn myself a lot about you, okay. your work. <laughs> so welcome to our today's lunch talk and yeah please introduce yourself. Okay, thank you. Hi, Yasade. First of all, thank you for inviting me for, to this lunch talk. And hi, up. everyone who's joining us at this time, because it's uh, half lunch time, half working time. Um, yes, I'm interested to do about your questions, and I will tell you something about my uh, writing experience. Sure, maybe the one or other uh, um, recommendation can be helpful to others who want to write a book. Of course. Exactly, yeah. Or people who are already writing a book and then they don't know how to continue because they have some problems. And what I also would uh, invite our audience to do is to add your questions or your comments below this video in the, in the comments so that uh, Sina, maybe you could answer if possible or it, so that the group members themselves can help each other yeah. with recommendations or it would be great. <laughs> okay, Sina. Just to, just to co begin with your writing experience, how many books did you already publish? Okay, uh, there are three books and two of them have, I did translate them in Italian too. So there are five books available, but three stories, of course. Okay, but the Italian translations, are these your own translations or you, you or someone else did the translation? Okay, first I did my, uh, by myself the translation to keep the melody of the story inside. And then I asked someone, a journalist or a, or a translator to help me to read over the translation and to do some corrections. Yeah, okay, because your native language are both Italian and German, right? Yes, exactly, German and Italian. Okay, great. And maybe you want also to, to tell us a little bit about the genre of books that you write? What kind of books do you write? Okay, the first one was a, a, more a story, uh, which I've been telling a true story, a biography about uh, my aunt who's yeah. living in South America. She has made the double migration from Italy to Switzerland and then from Switzerland to Argentina. And the idea was to create a family document, not to write really a book, uh, but uh, you know, sometimes uh, the rules are mixing up all the whole thing. And while I was um, finishing the story in Argentina in 2003, um, I went back to the home of my aunt and I met there on the road a guy who asked me, hey, hola, quieres tú? Uh, but, uh, who are you? I haven't seen your face before here in this quarter. And I told I'm the niece of uh, Anna. And he said, ah, oh, but what are you doing here? And I said, yeah, I'm writing her history. And, and he said, okay, I'm a journalist. Um, I would like to invite you to, uh, to my office. Come tomorrow. We made an interview together and he put me on the first page of the newspaper. Wow. <laughs> and when I saw this at the, at the shop, I uh, said, hey, that's, that's incredible. Uh, I think I'm, I'm going crazy. And then I informed my uh, publishing house and then everything was rolling like a snowball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And after that were a lot of um, readings, presentations, because at that time, 2003 and 2004, in Switzerland was uh, again this election about um, uh, to um, naturalize the, the foreign people to Swiss citizens. Mm -hmm. So it was just the right topic and I was invited to many um, to many um, meetings about this topic. And that's, this has helped, of course, to promote the book and to sell it. Mm -hmm. That was okay. the beginning of, of the writing. Yeah, so in which countries did you sell your first book? It was in Switzerland. Okay. <laughs> and then and Argentina, Argentina, you didn't publish it there? No, because uh, they speak Spanish, that's yeah. the main language. And I just lay, let translate a short um, cut from the book in Spanish from a, someone I met through Facebook. But I've never had a presentation in Buenos Aires. And this is mm -hmm. something I, I would really, really like to do. But um, it was planned for this year. But you know, about the current situation, everything has been pushed a little bit uh, back. So maybe in 2021, I can look up for a, to make this step there. Yeah, it would be, it would be great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And um, okay, this was the first book. It was more, uh, it was meant to be a family documentation. Yeah. And then, mm, to be honest, I didn't read that book. I have still to read it. But then we, you wrote the other book, mm -hmm. which was also, as I remember, uh, part of that story was also like a documentation, right? Not really, because it, it's a novel, Nebel über Durban, in English, Hayes über Durban. Um, it was not a documentary, but it was a family history from a noble family uh, from the Piemont, Piemonte. That's an Italian region in the north. And, but I had to push away a little bit this family because I had to respect their privacy. So I invented the novel, reinvented it with the story. And uh, the pursuit was in South Africa. The novel is in Piemonte and in South Africa. Okay. And um, as I... I mean, I, I read the book in German. I really liked it. And it was one of those books that you read very easily and very quickly and you dive deep into the story. And I'm not a big fan of um, this sort of books. I usually read a lot of books, um, not necessarily scientific books, but more, you know, like um, more technical books, more um, those kind of books. But... Um, this was really interesting, the way you were describing all these, all these um, sceneries. It was very lively and I could feel that I'm right now there and I could really imagine all these, all these uh, pictures in my mind like I would see a film. Now when I think back, it's two, two or three, maybe four years ago that I read that book. And if I think back of that book, I have, I have some kind of pictures on my mind. It feels a little bit like, okay, I read a book. Oh. And for me, it's an indication that it's a very, very well-written book. Um, have you ever before, I mean, was writing books, novels, stories, um, was it something that was always your passion? I mean, storytelling, in fact? Yes, um, this is uh, the main question. How did it all start? But it started at school uh, when you learn to write uh, the teams. And that was something for me very easily. And all my other school mates uh, said, oh, no, not again uh, a team to write down. But I even couldn't stop. And then it were four, five, six sheets uh, until the, the teacher said, hey, you, has, you have to shorten the next time the team. But I... I made always good marks in that, and uh, maybe it, it's a talent, you have it in the DNA, but it, this isn't enough to write a book. You need more to do with yeah. that. And all the time I hear people complaining and saying, oh, I could write a book because they are uh, uh, angry about something. I have to smile and, and I say to myself, try to write one sheet and then to see if you can write a book, because to write <laughs> a book, that's very intense, a very yeah. intense work. 
Yeah, because you have to structure you have to structure the whole story. You cannot just write, and it's not a, it's not a daily journal that you write. It's it's more than that. The story has to be structured. There, you have to you have to have this red line through the story. It has to make a sense what you're writing for the reader. Yes, you you need to know what you want to write about. You need to make a plot, and then. A, I'm talking for myself. Maybe yeah. another writer has another incipit. Sure. But, uh, I need something that I can say, hey, that's something that catches me. It's catchy and I have to write about it. Then you prepare a plot, the characters, and then you start to write and you have to keep all the time a red line from, from the beginning at the end because it has to make sense at the end. A mm -hmm. book. Um, that's something I could not write every year a book. It's not possible about the uh, beside your beside my job, job, job my yeah. hundred percent job, but it's something, and I don't have any pressure to write all the time a book. That's another uh, important thing to tell. Mm -hmm. But I must always be committed to a book. When mm -hmm. it comes out a book, I have to stay behind this book one hundred percent. You have to commit yourself. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay, but so that means you never took any classes or courses for, no. I don't know, creative writing, um, <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Not so it's all. your given I haven't studied talent. literature, absolutely no. <laughs> yeah, and um, then for your third book, you started doing everything yourself the publishing the marketing everything how came that you decided to do everything yourself okay i made the whole experience to see how it is to work with a publishing house how does it work with the lecturer who helps you to correct some sentences and how does the distribution work how does the marketing work this, this is all a knowledge that i have um, acquainted and at the end, I said, hey, I know how the business works. It's not an easy thing. It's a hard working thing, a till to the bones. And I said with my third book, so this time, um, it was planned to publish again with my last uh, publishing house. But then I made the calculations and I said, hey, um, no, um, this time I can try to do it by myself because I have for many years my own publishing company. Mm -hmm. I just need... Oh, you uh, have? I didn't know that. Yes, yes. The Paper Factory, I have it since 2003, but I made this uh, company just to protect my books because um, there is always the danger that the US market um, does steal away your idea and you have any... You don't have any protection. You know, the okay. USA, they are a little bit different than Europe. And so I protected my first work with, with my company name, the paper the work, so that I have all the time to prove, hey, this work belongs to me. And if you are okay. going to, to steal away my product, you have to pay me. Yeah, but it is not enough that you work with another publishing house. You need your own to protect your books mm, at that time in 2003 it was recommended to uh, keep safe your own work but right. i'm talking about the, Sw the swiss country um law and, mm -hmm. and rules but uh, normally a good publishing house does protect you this is okay. true yes yeah but this time, it's uh, the third book is in, in its entirety from A to Z in my responsibility Okay, so what does it mean, your responsibility? What are all the responsibilities and tasks and things you have to do if you do it on your own from, from the beginning to the end? Okay, you have, to see, you have to look that you can sell your book. You have to place it in magazines. You have to give interviews. You have to network with, uh, mm -hmm. other, with journalists, uh, with other authors because you can collaborate with other authors. We are single fighters in this market, but sometimes it happens that you can work very well together to a common project. And of course, networking has helped me a lot to, to help to, to um, sustain the, this, the sale of a book because an interview does not give you the guarantee that you sell a book. 
Sure. It's nice. To be it's only a platform to present. But yeah. it's not a guarantee that you sell the book because yeah. uh, the book has his own way to go. And mm -hmm. what's more interesting for me, you know, that the writer is more a creative person. So the, the, half, the one half of the brain is creative and sometimes chaotic. And I have another very analytic and structured brain. This is, has to do with my job as well. Yeah. But <laughs> these both halves together work very well. And for me, it's more interesting to see how can I place my product? It, it mustn't be the book. It can be something different. But this is something that's challenging. Who will buy it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and it's interesting to see. And many years ago, we didn't have these te this technology tools. I remember in 2003, we even had, we hadn't just mail. We could just mail, but we, we didn't have any uh, working smartphones. They came a few la years later and Facebook came later. And today we have so many possibilities to use these tools and that helps, that helps a lot, but it's not a guarantee. Yeah, All right. And when you look back um, in the past month, I guess, um, where you started... Um, you know, contacting all these uh, magazines, newspapers, journalists. How did you find them? Well, um, because I mean, I mean, it is easy to say, okay, you have to this and that. But the question is, if you don't have already all these contacts mm -hmm. from somewhere, how do you achieve to get in touch with the right people? Okay, that started, of course, uh, I had to ask first. I had to ask, for example, a publisher, a journalist, sorry, um, would you like to write something about my book? Okay. That started. And then we kept in, in touch. I informed all the time, all these people which I've been uh, uh, meeting in the last years. And I, I, um, I have... I have a good working network yeah. with, with various legs to the States, to Australia, to Italy, to South America, in Europe. And you have to be constantly in contact, not only yeah. about the book or about the promotion, but sometimes to participate in their lives too. If you see a message, they have a, a, a baby has been born, then you have to, to give the congratulations. Yeah. That's something that's... Building uh, relations. <laughs> the ties, uh, you cannot the ties much better. And, and now it's such a balance as some of the publishers have read that my new book came out. They asked me, hey, do you want to, to uh, about the, do you want to make a review with me? Uh, do you want to, do you want to send a video? Uh, it's very mm -hmm. good, but, uh, but it's a vulnerable area as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's right. So as you said, you kept, you kept the contact. So you build up through the years your, your relations to the right dots so that when you need them, you can, you can go back and talk again to them and eventually they can help you. Sure, yes. It yeah. depends because when you are writing a book, it depends where is, it, where is your audition, where is your public. So yeah. it doesn't make sense to to place a, a novel in a magazine about cars. They say, hey, uh, nice nice face to see, but uh, nobody wants to hear or read something yeah. about the book. We are interested in, in reading about the new wheels. Yeah. So first of all, I have all, I have to, the networking is very important to see uh, where can I ask, uh, who can I ask to place my, the new story? Mm -hmm. Where is the public? And that's, that's not an easy thing. Eh? You yeah, have to, to find the target group. Yes, yeah. Yes. To identify it. But, but I ask, it can't be more than a no. Yeah, exactly. You don't have it to be afraid hurt. about a no. <laughs> yeah. That's one thing that re happens sometimes. So, and But it's most of all, you have a good reason why it's a no. And maybe it's better you accept a no. Yeah. And also to ask why no? Yes. Do you also ask? Why they don't accept? Why not, they don't? Um, no, not often. You know, it, it has a lot to do with the chemistry. Yeah. When you meet someone, and um, that's in every business. Mm -hmm. Every business is, has its own vulnerability, the behavior rules, um, mm -hmm. how you have to keep in touch or to get in touch with someone. You have to have a sense for that. Uh, yes, this is done about my job too. 
but mm-hmm. I've learned that from from that. And but in in the artists area, it's a little bit more. Um, how should I say? It's not aggressive, but in a few seconds, you know, I can I can work with that artist or not. Yeah, or, or with this uh, right moderate, moderation guy or, or whatever. This is something that in my case, in a few seconds, I know intuitively, in, in intuitively. My, my inner voice says, hey, keep fingers away from that guy or from that woman because um, it doesn't come out well. And in yeah. many cases, I was right. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's right. You have a very good sense uh, for, for these things. I know it from our <laughs> private friendship that you're very good in identifying people who are a little but bit I must not admit, fitting. It it happened that I met so I had some meet and greet with some individuals mm-hmm. and I said, Oh, what should I do with that person? But it turned out to be then a very interesting conversation and a very good uh, workshop together. Yeah. And the other on the other side, I had m- maybe too high expectations to someone. I met them and I was really disappointed because nothing came, nothing good came out. So it can be sometimes disappointing. Yeah, yeah, of course. It's like always. You have to give the <laughs> other party the chance to the other person the chance to to show who they really are, and then uh, sometimes something wonderful can come out of that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And now I'm I'm really curious about your your last book that mm-hmm. you um, that you mentioned what is it about this what kind of book is that what kind of story is that uh, can i show the cover the book sure. okay of course so, you can also send a link afterwards okay so it's e38 38. yeah yeah i was wondering all the time what that actually <laughs> means but when we met each other for a hike or sometime i never was thinking of that to ask you but now it's the perfect chance <laughs> to ask you what is behind this title e38 okay i must tell about the content of the book um, it happened last year during uh, i was injured and I was uh, most of the time at home. Mm-hmm. And uh, during night, I couldn't sleep well. So I was zapping around in, on TV and saw all these um, tarot reader, these magicians that you can call up and, and pay, pay five Swiss francs per minute to ask about the uh, oh, yeah. And they said, but what kind of people are calling up to such... Um, such a service, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then I saw other do- a documentary about uh, the dark net. That's mm-hmm. something very uh, dangerous and not to underestimate what's going on there in the mm-hmm. dark net. I didn't go into that. I met someone who's uh, professionally doing that by, at the police and I asked about some information mm-hmm. and I saw very... Uh, unlikely things yeah this has helped me to write the book it goes very deep inside in, in the matter uh, ordinary things and about it's about a synthetic drug that okay. is going to spread over all the world and oh, the idea came this is interesting i really before, didn't know that <laughs> before, before the virus before we we caught this virus, the COVID-19. And when the book was printed, then we had this problem. How do do I now promote this book with this situation that we have? But my content, the content of the the book is about a drug, a synthetic drug. It's not about a virus, it's about a drug. But it's a a drug that's very dangerous. Mm -hmm. But it's a non-existing, in a reality, it's a non-existing drug, right? I don't know it because in the dark net, um, these drugs are offered. You can buy buy them and pay them by bitcoins, by virtual, the the virtual, the virtual currency. And I said, okay, we, d- we didn't understand, is it just a name for sale, so a marketing name, mm-hmm. or are these drugs really so dangerous how the name is given? 
We didn't find it out because you had to buy it, and this was what means we. Who is we? You and uh, and this inform this okay this the person who yes. helped you researching about yes, this topic. Yes, exactly the researcher because I I didn't go with my uh, notebook into that through the internet because the IP number will be otherwise recorded. yeah you don't want to get in trouble and just because trouble you want to do your research. To ask someone who's uh, authorized to do this. Um, first, he, he looked a little bit uh, with big eyes and said, hey, girl, what do you want from me? And I said, hey, listen to me. I have to write a book and I need information. And he I have to write a book. <laughs> <laughs> no, sometimes you have to be very decided. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And this is yeah. important. If you want to be committed and do something, mm -hmm. then you have really to... <laughs> 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 to say, okay, I have to do it. Okay, this is an interesting mindset. I must say, I meet often very strange people, but they are interesting, but at the same time, I don't want them as friends. Of course, it's because yeah. you're open and you're open to, to, first of all, to meet other people and it opens your horizon as we, yeah. <laughs> as we see here. It, it, it brought this idea to your mind to, to think about a topic that you under... Other circumstances maybe even would not think of it. And yeah. it brought you to a new idea of writing a book about this very special and yeah, dangerous topic, actually. My, my lecturer said, but how can you have such ideas? <laughs> <laughs> I would never come to that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, yeah, I had time left and I had to fill up this time during my insurance, insuring time. Yeah. When you had your injuries yeah, and yeah. you're staying at home, yeah. So you used also the, the time you were at home, you had to stay at home to recover from your, from your injury um, to write a book. Or you had it, written it already it, before. I had it already begun. Yeah, and then um, you finished it at home. Two years ago, but then happened, um, I had already written 10 chapters. Mm -hmm. There were two, three chapters left to write. And I said, okay, in 2018, okay, during summertime, I will continue to write. And then happened something very uh, cruel in February to 18. I don't want to go into that. I had no energy left. Yeah, I understand. And I said, okay, I don't have any pressure on me to write the book. It can wait for the next year. And then happened uh, an accident. I broke my left arm. Mm -hmm. uh, Fortunately, Luckily, the, the left one, right not one, the right one. But, you know, to, to write on the notebook with one arm and with five fingers, that's, that's a big effort. So I said, okay, as soon I'm getting better and I'm getting well, and this was last summer in August, I could write again with both uh, hands. Both hands, yeah. And it was during my holidays that I finished then all the remaining chapters. Yeah. 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 And what are you right now doing with your with your book? I mean, with the promotion, at what level are you standing right now? Okay. I could pick up the books, not me, my lecturer, who's my co-producer as well, Werner Strell. We could pick up the books one day before the lockdown came. We have to pick it up in France. And France closed then the, the frontier. And uh, then was... The, then was the registration of the book about the distribution. Everything was locked down. And they said, okay, it doesn't matter. We, we can do the promotion via social media that mm -hmm. works as well. In the meantime, the book trade has uh, work, is working again. So uh, the promotion was at the beginning over the social media. Okay. Yes, and yeah, now, which is which is actually yeah. the platform where you reach the most of yeah, the people. Where you can reach the people. You have to try out everything and be creative. And I have seen the book trade in the bookshops. They were creative too. They are prepared with online shops. So I was not so um, angry or worried yeah, about because that. Because you're not in a hurry to deliver. It's, it's, it happened and I'm not the only one. So uh, yeah, right. everyone was affected by the situation. So uh, now we start again and it's okay. Yeah. And a final question. What is the next step? Uh, are you planning some readings, web in, uh, online readings? Or are okay. you waiting for the readings until the, um, yeah. the situation is yes. rather normal? Due to the people, because you, you, you cannot be more than five people together mm -hmm. 
the readings have been um, pushed back. So tomorrow we will have a, a meeting with three other writers. Yeah. We will organize some readings in late uh, September yeah. in various towns in Switzerland. So it will start. And for myself, with four performances, it is okay because... I work 100% and it's not the idea to work less. Yeah. So, um, but it can be that I will get more uh, inquiries about that. I'm open for that and I mm -hmm. have to see if I can manage this. Yeah, this is great. But this Sina, thank you very much. Yes, thank you. And oh, sorry, I interrupted you. Yeah, <laughs> no, you. it's okay. I want to thank you everyone who joined us. And uh, they can follow them. Other, the other people can see our interview later in the evening. Yeah. So thank you. It was a pleasure. And uh, it yes. was a pleasure to learn more about your books because I had a completely other imagination what is going on in this book. Yes. And, um, and it was also very interesting for me to learn about, uh, about all the things that you, that you do to, to publish your book and to, to do everything in the way you do, you, you took everything in your hands. This is something very interesting. And I'm sure that some of the people maybe have um, questions that wherefore we need to, or you, they would need to dive deep more into the matter and therefore they can contact you. Yeah, sure. Um, I think um, you're anyway tagged in the, uh, in, in the group and um, maybe you can also, do you have a link or something about your book or, or about you that you could add in or maybe your LinkedIn or I don't know, some, some link in the, in, the, in the comments so that mm -hmm. whoever is interested to interact with you that they can, they can get in touch and get more information or yeah. so that maybe there are other authors in the group who would like to exchange more or yes. future authors. They're welcome. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you, Sina. <laughs> and um, yeah, see you soon. Yeah. And next week we will have another lunch talk and um, yeah, stay tuned and okay. we will talk again about okay. some other interesting <laughs> topic. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.